Here's a homebrew radio that a friend of mine gave me. It was probably built in the 1930s or possibly the early 1940s, but I doubt it's any newer than that. It's a two-tube, battery-operated, just an AM radio, and somebody built it in this General Electric hot point box. Here's your tuning control, and this is probably either a volume control or a regeneration control, and clips for your antenna, and headphones and back here was where the battery cable exited but somebody cut that off there's the bottom of it not much to look at there Let's see if we can open this up and have a look inside okay here's the inside of it it uses two type 30 triode vacuum tubes uh, appears to be a fairly simple design. It's something that I look forward to playing with one day. I'm going to have to build a power supply and come up with a pair of headphones and hook a long wire antenna to it and see what we can receive on it. This really fascinates me that back in that time period that people actually would build their own radios and other electronics. And it seems today that people are, are not as adventurous as they were back then. Now we just go out and buy new. When, when something breaks or we want something else, we just run down to China Mart and buy a brand new one and use it for six months, a year or two, or, or until we get tired of it or until it breaks again, and then we just replace it. So we've lost something somewhere. But anyway, just thought you'd like to see this, and I hope one day to play around with it and get some action out of it.